Black Voices, we introduce you to a man building his family's legacy, a family that led social justice movements here in West Michigan. News Channel 3's Tavarius Haywood takes us back to a moment more powerful than some may have recognized at the time. What does that mean for you to have that history? Oh man, that's such a great question. So it's an honor. It's really an honor and a privilege and it's gave me um, great pride. Jacob Mayberry Penny Johnson is the family historian for the Johnson Williams family. Jacob's great grandfather, Henry Williams, first arrived in Kalamazoo from the South around 1914. According to Jacob, his grandfather, Mabry Johnson was a founding member of both Galilee Baptist Church and Mount Zion. He was also a lead distributor for a local black newspaper called Focus News that highlighted black issues in Southwest Michigan. How I live my life uh, is very much um, a part of you know what I see in terms of my family's legacy. And that legacy is rich. Following in their father's footsteps, Jacob's father and uncle, David Johnson and Walt Jones, fought in the 60s for black people to have the same employment opportunities as white people in Kalamazoo. Teens at the time, the two organized the Van Avery's boycott in 1961. At the time, the white-owned pharmacy was the only one in a predominantly black north side Kalamazoo. Jacob says the pharmacy refused to hire black people tired of feeling powerless and exploited. The community stopped spending their money at the business. Shortly after the uprise, the pharmacy went out of business. I mean, when I look at my father being a, a young man in America and in Kalamazoo and literally not being able to get a job in his own city of Kalamazoo, Michigan, um, but being able to be drafted uh, to Vietnam to fight and kill in the jungles of, of um, Vietnam for a country that denied him basic um, civil and human rights is, is the issue at hand. Inspired by his family, Jacob continues the fight. He currently works for Urban Alliance as a programming coordinator. While he says things have gotten better, we still have a long way to go. What is it that you're going to, you want to pass down to the younger generation? having the knowledge of the history of race and racism, but also having some organizing tools and skills to combat it in their local communities. Well, another interesting fact about the families of the, about the Williams family, the governor of Michigan back in 1915, Woodbridge Nathan Ferris commissioned Jacob's great grandmother, Lulu Margaret Williams, to help organize and write, quote, Negroes in Michigan, a publication to show the progress of African-American post-slavery. To read more on this history, you can find our full story at WWMT.com.